to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Illinois, and we're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law, and in this video I'm going to discuss Illinois theft and larceny law in Illinois. From a very early age, the great majority of us understand that stealing from others is bad. But many don't understand the specifics of the law. The difference between theft and larceny and the different levels of charges that can be levied against an individual for theft. Illinois criminal law defines theft as an offense directed toward another's property. Under the law, the property can be anything of value to the other person, such as jewelry, pets, clothes, a hat, their wallet, etc. Property theft can also extend to less tangible things such as labor, electricity, and services. So, what constitutes theft or larceny in Illinois? While we may think of theft as the simple act of taking another's belongings, the courts have a more specific set of parameters when considering a charge of theft or larceny. A person commits theft of another's property when he or she knowingly obtains or exerts unauthorized control over the property of another, acts threateningly or uses deception to obtain control over the property of another, obtains control over property that the individual knows is stolen, or obtains control over the property in the presence of an undercover officer who explicitly stated the property was stolen. Furthermore, a charge of theft suggests that the individual who stole the property was intending to permanently deprive the original owner of the property, or that he or she knowingly used, concealed, or abandoned the property in such a way that would likely lead to the owner's permanent deprivation of the property. Larceny is synonymous with theft in many states. While some states may refer to stealing someone else's property as petty larceny, its equivalent is petty theft. The value of the property is irrelevant to whether the offense is considered theft or not, but the value is relevant to the level of the convicted person's sentence. Illinois criminal statutes classify theft based on two factors. One, the fair market value of the item at the time it was stolen, and two, circumstances surrounding the theft itself. The manner of the theft, such as the purse being stolen from a person as they are walking, if any coercion, intimidation, or violence was involved, the individual stolen from was elderly or disabled, or the item stolen was of a special category can also have an impact on the degree of sentencing and punishment in a theft case. Well, thanks for watching. To learn more about Illinois theft law, check out our article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed the video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 630-324-6666. We have many locations for your convenience and we serve all of Illinois. So thanks again for watching.